Hi, my name is Ifan. In the next five minutes, I'll be showing you a new method for 3D shape deformation. The primary motivation of this work is detail preservation. More specifically, given two arbitrary shapes without correspondences, we want to transform one to match the other while preserving all its rich geometric details, such as all the sword embellishment shown on the iron throne. This technique can be used in many areas, such as for design and animation. First, let me convince you that this is actually not a trivial task with a pair of simpler chair models. We see significant distortions in the deformation result generated by the state-of-the-art method. The reason is neural networks are inherently limited in representing high-frequency functions. Developing a neural representation for high-frequency details in 3D data is a challenging task of its own. Secondly, shape alignment and feature preservation are, in fact, two competing, if not conflicting, objectives. As the example here shows, as we naively force the result to match the target and at the same time preserve the features of the source shape, the resulting geometry can become a somewhat smudged version of the two. Our idea instead is to improve the deformation by uh, reducing the dimensionality of the deformation space. And we do so by representing the input and output with a much coarser mesh called cage. This is inspired from a classic interactive shape modeling technique. Each of the cage vertex is associated with the underlying shape using the so-called cage coordinates. And deformation is driven by offsetting the cage vertices. The deformed shape is obtained by interpolating the shape vertices using the coordinates. While conventionally the cages are created by artists manually, I'll show you how we automatically create these cages for arbitrary input shapes. First, we use a neural network to automatically generate the enclosing cage conditioned on a source shape, from which we can compute the coordinate deterministically. Then another network deforms this cage by offsetting the cage vertices. Finally, we apply the interpolation to obtain a deformed shape. Because the interpolation is smooth, the local geometry details can be preserved naturally. Our network can be trained using any shape alignment loss between the source and the target. We can control the rigidity of the cage via the coordinates. Additionally, some regularizers can also be applied to improve the preservation of higher level features, such as symmetry. Since the cage operations are fully differentiable, the entire network can be optimized end-to-end. -end. And notice that no direct supervision is applied on the cage itself. Since the deformation is per cage vertex, our network does not scale with the input resolution, thus it can handle very complex shapes like this chair shown below. Furthermore, since the network needs to focus only on the global information, it's also robust to noisy and partial inputs. We can use our method to generate new variations of shapes, a practical tool for 3D stock amplification and design. As the cage deformation is not strictly tied to the enclosed shape, we can apply an existing deformation to a dissimilar source shape, a technique often referred to as deformation transfer. In this example, our network was trained to deform a human to various other poses. We can then transform this deformation to a new character, in this case, a skeleton or a robot. This is achieved by optimizing the source cage for the new character. Compared to existing works, we want to highlight our method doesn't require known correspondences with the target shape at inference time. To conclude, we propose a novel representation for shape deformation that is detail-preserving by construction. And we envision that more classic interactively shaped modeling techniques, such as the cage deformation used in this paper, can be incorporated into neural networks for different types of inputs and applications. Thank you for your attention.